Thank you, Judge. I want to thank uh, just like him, Pat and her staff who have worked on this program. And I'm proud of the fact that this is going to be the first program in the state that we have. And it's only fitting and proper that we do it here in Albany. I want to share with you just a, a video because I know some of you have had uh, difficulties in your life. And uh, I don't want you to think that I haven't had any difficulties in my life. And I want to share with you one particular video that has stuck with me all of these years. It was a Saturday morning. I was 10 or 11 years old. And I had some time on my hand and some mischief in my mind. So I walked to the largest Baptist church in town. And I decided that I was a pretty good rock thrower. And so I piled up a pile of rocks and took the next 45 minutes breaking out every window in that church. Now you know what the consequences could have possibly been for me. And then three other little boys with me went and told on me. And I ran home. Waiting for the police to come. They didn't come. But the preacher from that church came to my house. He said, Rob, I understand that you came to my church and did some damage. And I said, I don't know who told you that. They're just lying on me. <laughs> I didn't do any such thing. I've been at home all day long. And he said, Lord, you're lying now because all these other little boys said you did. And I'm trying to decide what should be done to you. And he said, you know what? My intention is to have you before the juvenile court. And he said, but on the way here, I thought about it. He said, you know, I've been the preacher at this church for about 25 years. And I have been wanting some new windows. And he said, the Lord sent a fool like you to get me some new windows. And I said, you mean you're not going to tell my mom and daddy either? He said, no, they'll beat you within an inch of your life. He said, but now, the way I'm giving you a chance, as you grow up, you need to give somebody else a chance. So I'm fulfilling one of those promises that I made to that preacher. Because if he had gone to law enforcement, my career would have gone in an entirely different path. Mm -hmm. I would not have become a lawyer, I would not have become a judge, I would not have become Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. All of you have that same potential because we live in a country and in a society that is willing to give you a second chance. Because we don't have any throwaway adults the same way as my community didn't have any throwaway little boys. We are going to continue to invest in you, to support you. And we are going to work with the lawyers, law enforcement in this community. We're going to ask the lawyers in the community to start organizing various groups and organizations. Boy Scout troops, Girl Scout troops, community troops. I have a list here of about 100 organizations communities ought to have for savage people in their community. But I'm proud of this group. Because this is what we saw. This is how we do it. One person at a time. One household at a time. 
one community at a time. We are blessed to live in a wonderful community, in a wonderful country, where we are hardworking, law-abiding, God-fearing, self-respecting people. I applaud you. I applaud your efforts. I applaud your willingness to become involved. And we want to make sure that you are rewarded for this effort. There's an old poem that says that your children are not your children. Though they come from you, they belong not to you. They're the sons and daughters of tomorrow. Seek not to make them like you, but seek to be like them. For time looks not backwards, nor terrorists in yesterday. Thank you very much.